All right then guys, welcome back to another video from Reef Drama. Today we're going to have a little look at the first fix electrics that have just gone in uh, and also we're going to be starting on fitting the insulation. Um, now, I just want to give a big shout out to Raj from RS Electrical and Security who has done the uh, the first fix and obviously we'll be coming back to do the second fix as well. Um, amazing job, really, really happy. We will, as I say, have a little look at that in a minute but yeah, massive shout out to him. I will put all the information in the description below uh, with regards to the area and everything else that obviously he covers. Um, but yeah, Raj, RS, electrical and security. If you need anything from just fitting a, a socket, an extra socket in your wall, all the way through to you know a full house rewire then definitely go check him out um, as i say we're also going to be fitting the insulation in the walls well at least starting anyway so we'll see how we get on with that um, but uh, yeah first of all i'm just going to give you a quick update uh, with regards to uh, well the decking that's just down here in front of me so i'll spin you around and show you Right then guys, so here we go, another quick update of round the, uh, the back of the fish house and all the decking is now in place. Um, well, I've just got to put a, a fascia across the front there, but other than that, everything's in. Probably could do with a bit of a jet wash, but there we go. Never mind, that might get done one day. <laughs> see, see how busy I get. We've got the weed membrane, a little bit missing here, so I'm just going to add some more here and then kind of like dig it down um, up against that uh, concrete gravel board all the way along. And then it's kind of just for the moment, just sort of pinned into the ground there and there and the same at the other end. But yeah, happy with that. Got to build this next. So this is going to be going on there somewhere, as I say, again, with all the other stuff that's piled up around the other corner, which is a mess. So I'm not going to show you, <laughs> but yeah, quick update. I'll carry on, see what else I can get done. First off, I've got to show you this. What do you think? Boom, look at that. So happy, all painted. Well, with the exception of just up underneath the, the eave under there, but uh, otherwise, yeah, all done. So looking really good, so happy with this. We've got the lightly gray, obviously, and then we've also gone for the darker anthrite gray, kind of on the uh, all the uprights, just to kind of match the windows and doors. And then come round the side, there we go, look at that. And then the back as well. Ooh, lovely jubbly. Yes, happy with that. So that's all done. Um, so what we'll do is we'll have a quick look inside now at the first fix electrics. Obviously, as usual, there's stuff everywhere. Um, but let's bring you over to where it comes in, first of all. And if we have a little look down here, I might put the flash on so you can see. So, yeah, we've got a hole here. Obviously, that will get uh, sort of siliconed and filled. Um, but that's where the uh, the main sort of, um, what is it, armoured cabling comes in. And then I've also got the, the data point as well coming in. So that's the, the wire here for the uh, the cat 5e and then also there's the other one up there so the one will come up probably go into a box and they'll both get joined together um but otherwise all the rest of the the wiring this is already here can't really there you go lifted up a little bit so that's literally already there for the consumer unit that will go all the way up the top there and then the majority of the wiring has been done all the way along the front there, uh, with the exception of, we've got a couple of wires coming down, which drops down here to that first double socket. Um, and then also obviously the one that's uh, down the back of this wall here for the fridge freezer. We've got all the lights wiring going in, that's all coming down, going around the window there. We've got the light switch uh, wiring all down there for the double socket. And as you can see, all the wiring going all the way through, including the data point, which is this black one here. Um, and that's going to go all the way down to the other end 
which is where the office desk essentially will be. Uh, we've got some wiring coming all the way across here that then drops down and picks up those two double sockets and then those two double sockets then are all wired through and along and down for those two double sockets. Um, over at the top here we've got the TV one, we've got the one for the um, humidity stat uh, fan that will go up there, that's the, the, the wiring is just hanging there for that one. The outside sockets have all been done, uh, all the lighting, that's all ready, all done as well. So I'll put these up um, just so as we can hang the lights on. So I've just got basically like an owl bracket on the other side of that at each end holding this in place. So it's nice and strong and rigid and that's not going anywhere and proper overkill for the lights I'm putting up. But you know what? One day I might want to change them. I want, might want ceiling fans or something. So it'll be a lot heavier. So we've got uh, two there. We've got one there in the center, another one there in the center, and then another two there and there. Um, this, these two sets of double sockets here, so you've got those two, and then you've got the other two that's behind the RODI unit at the moment. They are wired up there, and then they go all the way across the, uh, the ceiling, and then through, and then obviously round then, and joins where the, uh, where the rest is. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I'm assuming eagle-eyed viewers have already seen all the insulation, so that's what we're going to be doing as well in this video. Well, not all of it, but some of it. But down at the very bottom here, I've got the 25 mil, which will be for the floor. Then we've got the 50 mil, which will be for the ceiling. And then the 60 mil, which is going to go into the wall. So eight foot by four foot sheets, Celotex. So I'm going to be getting on with that shortly. Got all the safety gear, got goggles, got a uh, mask as well. And if we just have a quick look outside and show you the exterior kind of wiring. So again, we got the wire here and another one on the other side. That'll be for the outside double socket. And we've got the wiring coming in here and that goes down. And I dug a two odd foot uh, trench like all the way along there the bit of gravel in the bottom for drainage and then it pops up on the other side there goes into I, I don't know if that's called a whisper box or something I don't know but it goes into there anyway and then it's been cleated then all the way along the fence um, data cabling in this conduit uh, which they've done a really really good job so happy with that been bent all the way around all those posts and then I'll just quickly whiz you round the shed to the other side and then as you can see then it basically just goes up there and then it shoots across the roof and then that will join in to the main consumer unit in the house quick look over the other side at the other double socket wiring nothing really to see but just the wire hanging out the side but uh, yeah, so for now then guys, first of all, what do you think about the, the actual painting of it, the colouring? I think it looks amazing. I am going to do the shed the same. Um, but uh, yeah, certainly for this, big shout out to my wife Sarah for, for massively helping me with, with all the painting. Um, and uh, she's done a really, really good job there helping me do that. So... With regards to this, this is what I'm going to get on with now. I'm going to set up a couple of tables out in the garden and then just sort of start cutting them, measuring, cutting and fitting. So what I'll do is, uh, well, I'll catch you up in a little bit to, as to how we're getting on. All right then guys, well just for anybody that's uh, interested, and this certainly isn't a tutorial, this is just how I'm doing it. Um, but obviously with regards to cutting out your PIR insulation, um, obviously measure. Um, I've got it set on a couple of tables and then I purchased this um, angle iron because uh, it was relatively cheap, a lot cheaper than buying a massive one of these, like 2.4 meter one of them or something. Um, so this is quite cheap, maybe 17 pounds, uh, something like that. Um, obviously clamped at both ends. And then what I've done as well is just to stop anything from, you know, where it kind of might bow slightly. I've just put a couple of nails in there just to hold it dead straight. 
and and then I'm just using my Stanley Fat Max short uh, quite a rigid uh, saw blade so you know you kind of can keep it dead straight and you're not kind of like waving in or, or out um, and uh, yeah obviously safety goggles and cutting it through um, so this is going to be a 224 centimeter all the way up to this line here and then once I've cut the the length I'll then come along and clamp my spirit level um, to that side because obviously it's a bit shorter and then cut that and then hopefully that will fit in so yeah that's pretty much how I'm doing it then guys so uh, I'm gonna get cracking on right well there we have it so that's that piece cut and fitted in to place nice and tight all the way up to the top and obviously I've just got to go round and put the silver tape on well as I have everywhere really as you can see I've not done that bit yet um, but yeah so that's another piece in um, what have I got left to do I've got that panel there and I've got panel there as well to do um, that one with all the wiring in I think that's gonna have to be rock wall and then still over there in the far distance <laughs> Um, I've still got three panels there to do, but I've got to remove the RODI unit stuff first. Um, but yeah, otherwise, pretty happy with that. A few little infills up here, but uh, we're definitely, definitely getting there. Oh, and of course, a bit above the door as well. I've already got a piece that I'm going to cut to fit above the windows and another one here but they all need to be cut and fitted yet. It's just trying to get the little smaller pieces fitted into the smaller areas and use the big, big chunky pieces um, for like full size length, like, you know, this one here, for instance. So I'm gonna carry on. Whew. I think I'm gonna go and have a drink first though. All right then guys, just one other tip as well that I got, as I say, this isn't uh, a tutorial by no means, but um, what I've not seen on any other videos is when you've made your cut and then you obviously go in and you fit it and you're wearing your mask and you're wearing your um, uh, eye goggle protection um, and then all the little bits are getting like pushed back out at you. Well, once you've made your cut, if you run your hand along here, See, I can only do it with one hand at the moment because I've got nothing to hold it on to. It's trying to use my foot. Um, if you rub your hand along here like this, what it will do, especially if you're doing it outside, is it gets rid of all of those bits. Look, can you see? And now that's made that a lot smoother. So then when you go and offer that up into your space, it doesn't then blow all these bits back out at you. Of course, still wear your eye goggles and your, and your mask and everything else. But um, yeah, that certainly helps and uh, minimizes it. Just a quick tip. All right then, guys. So uh, just a quick update, but I think I'm pretty much going to end the video here for now. But uh, have kind of virtually finished all the PIR installation in the walls, hopefully you can sort of see behind me, um, just with the exception of where the RODI unit is, and that's just because I'm really dreading taking that down on my own, it's not exactly easy, um, and I'm also in the process of kind of uh, making some water and, and heating it all up and, you know, for a, a water change anyway, so I've got to wait till I've done that, then I can sort of take that down. Um, but I think pretty much in the next episode is going to be the uh, ceiling um, insulation going in. And hopefully you'll also see the fact that I've already done the uh, aluminium foil tape as well. So I've just got a couple of rolls here, as you can see, 100 mil wide and that is so that uh, if I offer it up to the wall here, it's going to completely cover the two beams, two uprights, plus obviously get onto both the uh, the sides of the PIR. Um, now where there's three, like this one here for instance, I will obviously have to put sort of, you know, one roll here and then another, and then another one there as well. But 
Um, but that's why I've gone for the 100 mil. So most of the time it's just gonna be one kind of, you know, that will go up. So everywhere's gonna get uh, the aluminium foil. I need to purchase the rock wall still. So for in there, I'm also think I'm just gonna put some rock wall up there as well, just because of the wiring and the awkwardness of it. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're getting there. Obviously, as you can see, I've already done a little bit of the tape until I ran out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna call it now. As you can see, I bought all my tables in and uh, kind of packed everything up. Um, but uh, hopefully I will see you uh, in the next episode, as I say, where we'll be tackling the ceiling insulation. So thanks very much for watching. Spin you back to me. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you like the video. If you do, don't forget, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and uh, to really help the algorithms, you know, share it to everybody else. And if you have, as usual, any advice, any suggestions uh, or anything really, um, then please put them down in the comment section below and I look forward to reading them through. But that's it for now. Thanks very much. See you soon. Bye. Is it cold? Is it cold?